What's up guys, it's Cuber here, and today we have an unboxing of these two cubes. We have the Rubik's Metallic and whatever this is called, the Rubik's Color Block. It's basically the mirror cube with colors, and I have no idea how to solve a mirror cube. So with colors, is that like what? But I think I'll manage to solve this. Um... Anyway, so I'm recording this with my Chromebook um, because I figured out this cool editing technique where you can, like, um, you know, cut cut times out. Um, so on my Chromebook, there's, like, a pause button uh, for the video and then unpause. So that's basically what cutting out time is. Um... So, because of that, I'm going to do a little thing. So, three, two, one. So, I figured out I would unpause right here because if you open it correctly, you can open it properly by just sliding it out. And now, none of this is, like, really ripped. So, that's pretty cool. So here we have the Rubik's Metallic. Woo! And because of my new editing technique, watch this. Isn't that cool? Now it's out of the wrapper. So, um, we have the Rubik's Metallic. So it's kind of like the Rubik's Impossible, except not really. Unlike the Rubik's Impossible, this is solvable, but it, it's like, um, it's like, a Rubik, the Rubik's Metallic is like a shiny version of the Rubik's Cube. And, and this is silver and gold. Silver and gold. You, like, when you hear mining, you hear, you hear silver and gold all the time. So, that's pretty cool. Anyway. First turns. Okay. That's actually pretty good for a Rubik's brand. I like, this is a T-perm. Yeah, that's a T-perm. So, despite this being a Rubik's brand, this is actually a pretty good turning quality cube. Now, I would take it apart, and I actually figured out one day that if you try hard enough, you can twist a corner, so I just did that. <sighs> Hopefully, I didn't break it in the interns, internals, but um, let's do a solve. this is just a hand scramble but anyway because it's all shiny it's actually kind of hard oh here's a nice yellow cross Got a bit lucky there. Um, twenty four seventy, not including the plus two. So in total, twenty six seventy. I'm gonna try one more time because that was pretty bad. Even for a Rubik's brand, this surprised me for a Rubik's brand. So I'm just going to try it one more time. In fact, I'm going to see if I can get sub 20. Oh no, I messed up. Oh, 
Um. Okay. Maybe I got a little lucky on the color recognitioning a little earlier, but now it's kind of hard for some reason. So, in that case, this is a perfect time to do the technique. Huh? 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 Okay. I'll do it without the snap. Okay. There. Unsolved. Now... It's pretty nice that this uh, computer has the editing technique, but I hate recording on my computer and on my original camera, which is actually just a, a phone SE, the second version SE, I think. I don't know, that's what I heard. But anyway, let's move on to this thing. Actually, let's just put the Rubik's Metallic right here. This time I will open it on properly, and I will do the editing technique. Huh? Whatever, I'll do it without the snap. Okay, so it looks like uh, this one is un not wrapped. But anyway, um, I accidentally turned it a little bit, and it turns pretty badly. And look how tiny that corner is. This is so weird. First turns. This thing barely even turns. What the heck? What the freaking? Okay, well, because this turns so bad, I'm going to do a cool thing. I'm going to edit, and then it'll be scrambled. And see if I can solve it without watching a tutorial. Now, this thing is scrambled. <laughs> so... I'm going to see if I can solve this. Okay, I'll, I'll do it untimed because I'm new to this. So I already started. Oh, I got lucky there, actually. With the cross. Okay. Keep in mind, I I don't even have a mirror, uh, mirror cube. If I did, you would probably know, so. Wow. Okay, so the only bad thing about this puzzle is that... Oh, wait. Second. I was confused because... I was a little confused there because... I thought that the video was paused while I was solving it, and it's not. It's recording very well. So, that's why I got a little confused there. Anyway... This is really weird. So I, I bet OLL and PLO would be a little weird because of like the shape of everything, but yeah. Okay. On to OLL. This turns so badly, though. Okay, this is either a V perm or A perm. This is this is A perm. R perm U R prime D two R. U prime R prime D two. 
R2, yay, I solved it. So the key is, it's just a three by three, but don't let your mind trick you with the shape of it. Oh, it even feels so good to turn a normal Rubik's brand, but keep in mind, um, actually keep in mind two things. One, I got this for my birthday. I got these two for my birthday. And two, if you're gonna get a colored mirror, blo a mirror, if you're gonna get a colored mirror cube, do not get this one. It sucks so bad. Actually, it's more convenient with colors though, um, to solve it because because on a mirror cube, like you have to imagine co the colors all moving in your head, and that's that must be so hard unless there's like a key thing to solve it, but. But because there are colors on this, this is like the same thing as a 3x3, three three, except the shapes might trick you. Didn't trick me, though, because I know better. And this turns horribly, so if you're going to get a mirror cube with colors, do not get this one. It turns so bad. Um, but this isn't probably from... This probably isn't from Speak Up Shop, because once again... It was for my birthday, and the weird thing is, this corner is so small, but the opposite corner is really big, right here. Anyway, I hope you like my editing technique, and my next video, um, my next video will be, um, an F2L trick, and I actually figured out how to make a video while you're um, having music in it. Um, so this week I'm going to do an F2L trick video. Um, and then I'm going to add music in it for the background. So that's going to be kind of cool. And it'll be on the normal phone. So that's even better. And I hope you like the video and my editing technique. So, for the editing technique special, I will scramble these cubes with the editing technique, then solve them with the editing technique. Look at this. Okay, there. Now, you want it to go back to solved? Here. Okay. So, there. Now, it's time to say goodbye. Bye!